This is a very typical observation with the Acacia baleana. It's a high ornament tree of real beauty when it's in bloom. That gorgeous yellow bloom is awesome. But the tree does have a few problems, and one of them is its brittleness and weakness in this environment. At this elevation, 2360 elevation, California foothills, we find the Acacia baleana reaching 15, 20 years old, and sometimes that's about it. That's all they'll develop to. Occasionally we'll see one make it to 35, 45, 50 years, but very seldom, and usually they're in big trouble. Sometimes they'll just blow down, sometimes they'll weaken and crack and then start losing bark and they decline. It's a variety of causes that finally ends up being their, their demise. But that 15, 20 years is typically about as long as they survive up here at this elevation. There probably are environments where the tree will reach full scale and full size. But in this environment, we get a trunk diameter of perhaps 6, 8, 10, 12 inches in diameter. Occasionally we'll see them go even to 20 inch trunk diameter. But usually by then they have defects and problems, lots of dieback, cracks in the trunk, bark loss, anchorage issues. So it wouldn't be a tree we'd want to plant for the long term. Once they're in the landscape, what you find is they will volunteer continuously. They'll even come up from roots 15 or 20 feet from the main stem. You'll have shoots come right out of the side of a root and reach up to the sky. In a year, you'll have a six foot high sapling. They are nitrogen fixing. It's a leguminous tree. They fertilize the soil. They have a lot of benefit that way. The seed pods feed the birds. We see the bantail pigeon and other birds will feed on the seed pods that they produce. So the tree has value in the environment. It's a beautiful tree. It's a showy tree. It's a kind of a succession plant, you could say, an early colonizer that would be succeeded by other longer-lived, more valuable trees. Once you do establish one, you're going to have them forever. The other thing is, when you want to set one in, make sure you get it nice and straight. Start them very, very vertical and let the tree remain in complex natural form. They don't respond well to pruning. They don't like tipping or topping cuts. Lateral cuts that diminish the foliage on the tree, weaken the tree's vascular system, slow their growth rate down, slow their development down. And so if you can grow them in natural form, that's probably the best way to have an Acacia baleana. I would say expand your vision. Before you choose Acacia baleana, look a little deeper into your choices and selections. I think you can find trees with longer lifespan, greater reliability, greater stability, and maybe even superior performance in the long run. So the Acacia baleana is an easy tree to grow, but they don't belong everywhere.